So when we're talking about breathing, it's the ability to tap into the autonomic nervous system, right? And there's actually, um, this is going to be a very brief talking Rob time, but there's actually a particular part of the brain that its whole job is to pay attention to what the autonomic nervous system is doing, right? So the part of our nervous system that regulates our stress response. It's called the anterior cingulate cortex. It's like right here behind the side of your forehead. And its job is to pay attention to how you're physiologically responding to stress and then give you the chance to modulate that, whether that's emotions or your actual heart rate. Breathing is the easiest inroad to that. Um, any focus that you drive to breathing activates that part of the brain. I think that's really important because what ends up happening a lot in coaching and performance and even like the breathing people, they argue with each other about which flavor of ice cream tastes best. And what really matters first is that you drive your athlete's attention to breathing differently. So before we talk about anything fancy, can you drive your attention to that behavior? How am I breathing? And then do something different. That act alone starts a chain reaction that alters the autonomic nervous system. So literally, if you just say like, hey, I need you to breathe with me. I need you to breathe a little slower. I need you to catch your breath. Something that drives their attention there. Now, we, we can have a discussion about what I've found to be best practice in cueing. But number one to know as a coach, just getting your athlete to do something different with their breath is a big deal.